Good morning, boys and girls. It's Monkey Mid here again for more Kiss Madness. Uh, I'm going to do something slightly different today. Um, uh, most of you that uh, tune into my channel know I normally do Kiss bootlegs, uh, Kiss bootleg vinyl, bootleg CDs, whatever. But today I'm going to do official albums, but uh, more of a, uh, a slightly different slant. I'm going to do um, rarer albums, uh, different labels, different picture covers, different imports. Uh, so just a slight slant instead of the usual... Uh, what I've seen on YouTube, like the usual, oh, here's Kiss number one album, Kiss number two album, Hot and Hell, Kiss Best Kill, number, album number three, oh, no, 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 I'm not doing that. Uh, we all know what the Kiss albums are from day one to now. Don't need to know that. I'm going to do the rarer stuff. So I'm going to stop talking. The gang are going to join me. Uh, we're going to start with the very first Kiss album. And it is literally the first Kiss album. There you go. Um... It's got all the classic hitsies on here, Strutter, 100,000. I'm not going to go on about it because you know what these Kiss albums, uh, what tracks are on these albums. So I'm going to tell you what's rare about uh, the ones I'm going to show you. This one um, basically is on the Blue Bogart label. Um, this is from America, so American printing. As you can see here, it's got a sticker saying Kissing Time, Strutter, Nothing to Lose, Nothing to Lose, Nothing to Lose. There you go. Um, now, I'm trying to get the very, very first pressing. Now, the very first pressing of this album doesn't include Kissing Time. Um, I can't remember the story to it all, but I'm sure you, you can Google it and find out. I think it's something to do with, uh, there was a kissing competition, and then uh, Kiss did a cover version of Kissing Time, and decided to add it on, on the second issue of these albums. But this is the second issue. Um, it's very hard to show you, but on the back of this one, it won't actually have Kissing Time marked on it. I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't see it, but this one does have Kissing Time uh, on here. Um, but I say the very first pressing does not have Kissing Time, so check your copy. Uh, also, beware that there are bootleg copies of these. Um, there are people copying them. I think they're on. Um, uh, I think they're on the blue label. This one's on the blue label, and they are copies. So let me show you the inside. And you can tell that this one is an original from 1974. So I tell you what, look at it. All creased and it's all brown around the edges and it smells of shit. If it smells of shit, it means it's original. If it smells clean, it's a bootleg, okay? So this one, there you go. And also the way to spot this is, this the serial number for this one is NBLP9001, okay? I'll try and get that closer to you, there you go. They started off with these serial numbers before they went on to the 7001s and the rest of the albums started off with the 7. But this is the very first one distributed by Warner Brothers, okay, on the 9001 number, serial, label. I said to you before, if they smell like shit, these are the original ones, okay? But this is the second issue, this one, okay, because it has got Kissing Time on the vinyl, but not on the uh, LP. I think they had just had some of these left over from the factory and uh, so hence they stuck a sticker on there saying including kissing time okay if that makes sense I hope enough of that let's move on okay here we go oh what album is this I hear you asking this my friends is rock and roll over uh, this is a, a South American import and I don't know what part of uh, South America uh, maybe you can tell me uh, I think this is either Brazilian or I don't know Mexico I'm not sure but this is uh, the rock and roll over album and for some strange reason they decided to use the creatures of the night uh, picture on here which is a bit unusual um, but anyway that's the front with Eric of course Eric did not drum on this album as we all know and on the back here there's a picture a dynasty picture there and everything written in Spanish I assume I think so Show you the inside as well, and here we go. Um, strange enough, that um, the um, South American records sometimes come in these plastic sleeves. I don't quite know why they're sort of like uh, plastic PVC types of the sleeves. Not the best thing to use, but I'm trying to keep it as original as possible. There you go. There it is. So I'm assuming, as I said to you before, this is a South American copy. If you know any better exactly what part of South America, feel free to email me. But anyway, there it is. 
and there's the back. Okay, next up, another issue of Rock and Roll Over. Um, why am I showing you this one? Because it's rare, that's why. Um, as you can see, the album, uh, this is slightly smaller. You don't see the orange edges so much, okay? So on the original copy, the orange border is is, is a lot bigger than this. So uh, now this one's from New Zealand, okay? Um, and on the label, it's also slightly, I'll show you the back as well, by the way, which is the same sort of thing, you know? Um, but it does say, um, there we go. Marked by phonogram, Wellington, New Zealand. You probably won't see that. I'm not sure if you will. There we go, okay. Now what makes this one different to the rest is that it is on a -da, blue label. Uh, as we all know, uh, the blue labels were stopped after um, Destroyer, um, then Rock and, Roll Labor, uh, uh, Rock and Roll Over came out and then they used the uh, Casablanca desert scene. Uh, not with all the film crew, it was the, the second label, which was the desert scene, which uh, had a couple of camels or something like that on there, but no sort of uh, film crew, which was the third label, okay? But this is the first label, uh, which the uh, the Kiwis decided to use the blue one. So there you go. There you go. So that is rock and roll over. I told you this was going to be very geeky. A lot of you guys probably aren't into this sort of thing. Um, I quite like this, uh, but there you go. Okay, let's rock and roll over. Okay, next up, Love Gun. Okay, now this one is, um, it's not overly special, but I just thought I'd let you know that um, this is actually a Chinese uh, copy. Uh, I used to live in Hong Kong, and I used to pick up many Kiss albums. And if you want to know uh, the difference, is um, the Chinese ones used to have this label stuck on them says gold recording award okay so if you ever see that sticker on there 99.99999999 percent it will be from hong kong okay i'll show you that there you go and that's the back and it will say manufactured and distributed by sun chong trading company hong kong okay i'm going to try and put this nearer to you to the lens see if you can see it okay there you go There you have it. The inside is the same. The label is the same, except again, well, I'll show you just quickly. Okay. There we have it. You might not see this. Again, I'll try and put the label right close up. It says Sun Chong, Hong Kong. Sun Chong, Wing Wang, Pong Pu. There we go. Now, a lot of the uh, American, a lot of the uh, sorry, Chinese copies did come with some of the. Um, uh, rarer stuff uh, like posters and stickers, but some didn't okay, so don't be too surprised if you try and pick up a Hong Kong copy that you would um, uh, You won't get anything okay, so that's the label we're looking for okay Which reminds me I have got another Chinese copy uh, of an album a kiss album that I've got to put in my collection Just give me one sec guys one sec I'm here. Don't worry, I'm disappeared. I'm disappeared. Ah. Right, I need a PA to do this for me. Right, here we go. Here we go again. Okay, this is Rock and Roll Over. Again, it's got the uh, Gold Recording Award on the back. It will say Sun Chong. Uh, this might be easier to see. This one, I think, it's a bit more. Slightly. There you go. Sun Chong. Is that there? Can you see it? Sun Chong. Okay. So that is the Rock and Roll album. Rock and Roll Over album, sorry. Now the difference of this one is the sticker, okay? On the American issue, the original issue, I think it was a nine piece or 12 piece sticker. It came in 12 separate le separate pieces, okay? But this one, you probably won't see it on here, but this is actually all one sticker, okay? All one sticker, which the Americans didn't do. But for some reason, uh, or for whatever reason, the Chinese decided that it's going to be one piece. Um, why that is, I have no idea. Okay, so that's one piece. So it makes it quite rare. Uh, I never see these on eBay or anything. Um, so 
that is a rock and roll over. Okay, it's got the gold recording award. There you go. Okay. Okay. Next up, we have the mighty double platinum. All your Kiss classics on here. Um, this is kind of rare, I guess. Um, it, well, it is to, 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 to people maybe not living in the UK, but this is a UK issue, uh, which is slightly different. As you can tell, it's not a silver um, sort of a front is silver foil. It's more like a, a picture of the silver foil. And uh, that's the front, that's the back. This is distributed by Phonogram. Okay, it's a UK one, I believe, this one. Uh, yep, London, okay. Uh, this is not, as I said, it's not rare for us, but it's certainly rare for you guys everywhere around the world, maybe, sort of thing. Uh, a lot of you that are watching this might be saying, oh, John, this isn't rare. What are you talking about? Well, I'll say it's not rare to us, but uh, maybe for you new KISS collectors that are just collecting vinyl, we'll want to look out for this one, okay? And the other major difference on this one is... Okay, the inside. You can tell that uh, it's completely different. Uh, the inside of the original is uh, again all silver foiled with uh, pictures of the four faces from the uh, um, I think the picture was from the Alive to Love Gun uh, photo the faces on here but this is obviously from uh, Dynasty okay so that's one of the major difference okay there we have it uh, I think the label is just a standard uh, oh here we go we've got our inner sleeve here which is priceless double albums okay uh, a bit different to the um uh, standard American one and the label is um, just the uh, Casablanca label okay but to some of you guys around the around the world out there somewhere this would be rare okay I think you have to pay roughly about uh, I don't know, off the top of my head about 25 30 pounds roughly about 40 bucks 40 US dollars okay um, but there you go Right, boys and girls, that's the end of a part one of Rare Kiss Albums. Um, I shall be with you again very soon. So take care and keep on rocking. Cheers, guys. Adios. Goodbye. Ciao.